This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hi there folks, here we are, part 25 then, and I have found, I think, <laughs> the route we take to get to the thing that we couldn't find in the last episode, so I've run around for about 10 minutes trying to find out where it was, and I, th I put a marker on it, I've managed to find the entrance to this um, sewer, <clears throat> again, we've already been here, but it was just finding it again, and there's the exclamation mark, so I'm hoping at the end of this uh, tunnel here, I haven't done any extra fights or any extra blahs or anything. Just um, pretty sure. I'm wondering if this. I'm just getting our bearings here because I, I think <laughs> we can come straight down the stairs from Diego's. Yeah, we can. Yeah. So there's the simplicity of it. <laughs> All we had to do was come down these stairs. Brilliant. Well done. Who's the bright spark then? Not me. <laughs> it's a good job as a bright spark on my shield because it's not on my brain. Ah, it is. It is one of them. Awesome. Right, guys, we can crack on after we kill this. down. Come on. Give me your heart. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so we've got now all five of those. So we can head back up to the temple. And speak to... Well, we should be able to take the shield down. The, uh, the, the barrier. Got flames on his boots. That's quite cool, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hang on, just done it again, haven't we? I'm wondering what the quickest route back to that place is. Actually, let's um, let's get our bearings back at um, Diego's place. Okay, so I think. That takes us back to the castle. So it's there we need to be. I can't remember which bit the... Uh, probably is easy to run there actually, isn't it really? So we'll change our marker to there. Just to help us a little bit. I think we can do a fairly straight run up to there actually, I don't think it was that hard to get to. Unlike where we've just been. <laughs> it's a bloody nightmare. We'll put our lightning boots on once it's cooled down. Or our boots of the seven winds or whatever it was called. save we get in here I'm sure quite a lot will happen awesome the hearts give them to me <laughs> my precious here are the hearts at last, I've prepared everything. The barrier will fall in a heartbeat. <laughs> quite literally, it, it has gone. The cinematic was quite incredible, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, we'll get another level up here in a second. And... Whoa. 
<laughs> so it was actually the amulet. Good. You bet it is. Let's get it to the king. No. What? If you tell me now you're in league with Zisha, I'll get really angry. In its present condition, the amulet won't help the king. It needs to be taken back to the monastery on the cliff. That's a long journey. I hope the undead didn't sink Diego's boat. Bring me the amulet. I've got the setting. You'll need it. The setting? When you are in the monastery, you'll understand. The northern lighthouse of Thorniara stands directly over a ley line. I've created a powerful teleportation spell that'll take you directly to my tower. The monastery is not far from there. You mean the lighthouse with the eerie glow? Yes. Your path leads through the graveyard. I've ordered Gorn to open the gate and clear the road for you. That's right, kind. That's where he is. Woohoo! So we've got to head for the ley line. Ley line, you got me on my knees. <laughs> Eric Clapton. Right. Right, okay, so I think we should do our level up first. Hmm, keep going with the sword swings, I think. Not really any great benefits again for anything else, it's just going to help us more and more, I think, at that or the boat. Heading towards 20% extra melee and stamina regen. Hmm. Might have been better going for that one, actually. Anyway, <laughs> done it now. Might go for that one next time, actually. Still got the melee power, but gives us extra health. Ah, oh, well. Right. Let's get our quest on. Go and find Gorn at the cemetery. We'll take that marker off, actually. We know where we're heading. And we're good to go. Here we go. Let's get a fast boot on. It wasn't actually that difficult. It's just that they've obviously made the town specifically maze-like, so you have to wander around for ages trying to figure out where you were. But I have got a particularly poor track record of directions. <laughs> so, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's probably me more than it's the game. Goran, my man! I'm getting older each day. What happened? Nothing. I'm just exhausted. I used to fight day and night. Now that rhymes. Aren't young enough anymore. <sighs> you deal with the rest, kiddo. But you aren't so small anymore. I see you gained some muscle. Aye, aye. Flex. All right, Gorn. I'll give those skeletons a smack in the gob from you. <laughs> Off with you to the lighthouse. Uh, oh, I assume it's down there. Aye. Zombies it is then. Oh, and the undead. I see one already. <laughs> we are feeling a bit uber now, people.
Oh yeah, some spider webs up there. <laughs> oh, have a little sit down, shall we? <laughs> Randomly for no reason. Oh, I bet there's spiders in here. Hey, sneaky. Slightly unfair. It does seem to be when there's a lot. Hey! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Spawn wherever you like, scenario jobber. Still something on our screen so we can't use the bandages. I knew there was going to be another one of them. Okay. Bit of a rough combo, these two. Uh... Magic and bow guys are... don't get an awful lot of time to think. Armor's really helping us out, though, getting longer. Where's the other one? I thought there was another one still alive. Maybe not. Ooh, had a feeling this was a dead end, but shiny chests. Look at all them. What the heck? Ooh. Not sure if it's better than what we've got. That isn't. To the bandages though. The mighty mana potion. Black diamonds. Ooh. Crafting stuff again. I doubt we'll ever use it. <laughs> it's still nice to have though. There is a um, DLC that comes with this game, which is part of the disc. May come back and revisit the uh, game to play that at some point. It's quite good actually. I played it on the uh, the other two versions of it. Um, it is a pretty healthy DLC. You get a re another great sort of quest to go on. Not as big as this, obviously, but um, it was fairly sizable, as I remember. Uh, that's the way we came in. Have ourselves a little save, I think. I think there's a <laughs> guy right in front of us there. Hmm. 
Just a zombie. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Back to Mr. Zombie. Nothing notable in here, I don't think. Onward up the corridor. Aha. Uh -huh. The Fallen Paladin. Some mages up there as well. Take this guy out first. God, those headshots make all the difference. They really do. Sometimes my lazy bowing, just using the lock on, is uh, letting me down a bit. Yeah, it's so much quicker, isn't it? Neck to head. I don't know why I pick up those zombie brains, they've got no purpose that I'm aware of. Alright, coming out of the cave here. Hopefully, at the monastery. Have ourselves a bit of a save. And off we go. Oh, bloody <laughs> hell. Hey. Why did our guy ever pause there for? Slightly disappointing. Not supposed to do that anymore. Super. <laughs> A bunch of zombies are pit. Oh, hello, who's this? Okay, <laughs> uh, that looks interesting. I can't remember that bit actually. Demon. like a pincushion time and finished.
I was a bit conscious of the fact I was about to walk off the side of the cliff there, which is why I tried to turn around. Bloody hell, 1,375 experience for that fella. Nicely done. to wonder if these are never ending these guys totally uncalled for all this vomiting thank you there's oh, about a thousand experience in all of those guys there okay Hey, yeah, check it out. You can see right down into the city. Very nice. Making good progress here. Oh, hello. Is this Mr. Hologram again? Hello. Beautiful eyes she's got. <laughs> Follow me, sisters. Follow me. Uh oh. Okay, I think we could be heading for the big climax here. I see you're still intact. Very good. I'm sure you have some questions. You bet I have questions. The sleeper amulet is a part of a much larger amulet. Too large. Here's the second part of the amulet. It's the setting. This is part of an amulet? You could siege a castle behind it. A human could use it as a shield, yes. A goddess, however... So this huge amulet needs to go to the monastery. Do the monks know what to do with it? Yes. But the monastery is being attacked by Zisha right now. What? What's the fastest way to reach the monastery? Through Zoldrin. How can I get to Zoldrin? Go to the base of my tower. A tunnel in the north will lead you to your target. Beware of the demon king of Zoldrin. He is a servant of Zisha. And his brethren are scouring the island for you. Hmm, sounds ominous. Uh, 
hello. Lots of armour there. I suspect that's what we've got already though, isn't it? Mauritian War Road, Mauritian Curus, Plate Armour. Yeah, we'll take them anyway. Have a look. Nice. Ooh, nice. Eight healing potions. Gonna need those. Like this guy's hideout. How can there not be a one-handed sword in here? Nobleman's bow, we've already got our bow of woe. Alright, we'll take them. But, uh, yeah, could have done with a nice new sword, never mind. Stop cracking your lightning all over the place. Makes a proper cracking sound that in my Turtle Beach headset. <laughs> 500 arrows. We've got 2,000 already. Don't know why that music's reminded me of Star Trek for some reason. Right. How we get to the base of his tower is another question. Take a nosy about. Ah, here we go. Hang on. Yeah, here we go. Not quite sure where he stored all that armor and <laughs> shields and everything. Right then, let's put a quest on. Oh. We can't actually mark it, so we're just going to have to uh, find a way through this. Or we'll feel a way through this. A couple of boss fights coming up, I think, through these areas. Sure, if it will show as much on this map yet, no. Well, that's where we you know, <laughs> lost my bearings already. Okay. Well, that answers that one. Can't go that way. 
I think what we'll do is though we'll mark that. Not like that. Little cross there just so we know that's where the locked door was. Faster, these guys. For some strange reason we seem to have lost the uh, <laughs> we've lost the sound effects to our character but never mind we'll hope they come back lost my bearings again is that where we started with this guy yeah it is uh nice cheeky way to take these guys out <laughs> Got our sound effects back. Um, curious as to... It's very windy this, I'm not sure. Let's just go for it. Another fire golem up there. Oh, hello. Whoa, there's a demon in there. Okay, it doesn't matter which way we go, we've got some big fights here. A demon and a fire golem. <laughs> Um Whoa. That's a very vague recollection of this cave, but not, I don't remember much of it. Oof. Oh, acid water, that's just... <laughs>
Okay. We seem to be losing our... Uh, <laughs> lost our sound effects again for our character, but I'm sure they'll come back. Oh no, they're not they're there. Sure, what? Why well, that's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Normally, those little things only fly around. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Earlier artifact. <laughs> only the second one I found in the game. That's good, isn't it? Hmm, I was going to jump that, but I th thought better of it. <laughs> in case we just die randomly into the acid water. Right, well, I think we've got a golem and a demon to take out next. Not overly simple. See if we can make our way through most of this if uh, before this part runs out of time. No idea where we are at the moment, of course. The demon's probably the biggest threat, actually, but, uh... Jesus. I have no idea what's behind me in this cave, so let's have a look. No oh, more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? This is ridiculous, this fight. Really? Really? Absolute nonsense. What kind of a fight is that? Do a bit of mining while we're here. <laughs> Which may have just got us killed, but never mind. Could have just activated about uh, <laughs> 100 enemies all at once. Well, at least the demon's dealt with. Jesus. How many arrows is this guy taking? There we go. Okay, so I think we've got two golems to deal with now, haven't we? Unfortunately, <laughs> seems to have not activated those again. Let's just save that. Ooh, that was a tough one, that. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy to follow us without his mate coming. Oh, 
It'd be useful if this is the one I've already kind of hit, <laughs> hit much. Hit already. Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Come on then, big fella. Let's have you. You will not get in the basketball team with throws like that, sir. Some amount of health on these fellas. Oof. 542 experience each, though. Worth the gruel. And the grind. <laughs> Talking of which. <laughs> Lump of gold. There's some uh, expensive stuff in these uh, caves, isn't there? Okay. Something tells me that we've actually done all that fighting just for this gold. <laughs> because um, I think this is a dead end. I'll find out in a sec. Got that one already. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's the one I tried to get by being a clever arse and nearly died. Okay, if we jump down there, I'm pretty sure we're not getting back up here. Possible this brings us around to the other side of that door we couldn't get through. Definitely having a save here. Alright there folks, we're going to have to leave it there and I will carry on. I will stand at this very spot. And you will see me standing here when we start part 26.